This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Easiest. Okay, we're live. We're back. It's, uh, gee, it was 4 o'clock already on the first business day of the year, the four, first original broadcast day of the year. Think Tech, broadcasting original talk shows, five a day, six a day, six a day, sometimes seven or eight a day, and 24 hours a day. We keep on broadcasting our earlier stuff. And this is, uh, gee, we're uh, 17 years old already. Uh, it's older than a lot of people I know. <laughs> <laughs> Not older than me. Anyway, today we have a really special show, Humane Architecture, uh, and Martin Despang is still in Europe, uh, so I'm s sitting in for him. And our special guest today is uh, Tonya Moy. Uh, she is with, what, Fung and Associates? Fung and Associates, right. And she's a historic architect. That doesn't mean that, that Tonya herself is historic. She's still pretty young. It's that the, with the architecture she studies, that's historic. And she is the former president of the Hawaii Docomo Society. What Docomo, is it? Docomomo, right. Docomomo, yeah. Docomomo Society. Docomomo, not the Docomomo Japanese phone company, but no. Do, no, the documentation and conservation of modern movement, of the modern okay. movement. Okay, M-O, M-O, modern M -O, movement. Right, yeah, okay. right. And what about Doko? What is Doko? Doko is documentation and conservation. Okay, okay, all right. So, yes. What does it do? What does it do? What does it do under you? Um, party? No. <laughs> Besides that, we try. We do actually try to do doco, um, documentation by doing photo. We call them doco photo events, which is you know we want to do one of the Kapiolani, Kapiolani Miracle Mile um, soon because it's disappearing quickly. Yeah. So we so we do documentation. We have a website. We have a library, a digital library which we have been working on for five years. Uh, actually, our um, organization is pretty young. It's only like five years old now, uh -huh. five, okay. six years yeah. old now. And then just wanted to revisit our, um, cause Kapiolani Boulevard was our 2013, one of our first tour days. So, oh, you mean the uh, AIA tour days? No, it Doku was Dokomomo tour. tour day. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. so um, wanted to revisit it since a lot of things are either very threatened to be gone soon or actually have gone already since the time we did the tour. So, uh, or have been completely changed. There's all kinds of, uh, all kinds of mm, implications of that and historical, may I use that term, yeah. implications mm -hmm. of that. Yeah. But let me, uh, let me ask, I mean, what, what is it to be a, an historic architect? Um, you have to study special? Um, well, you just have to do a lot of historic projects is um, basically what it is. And you, you do have to do, know a bit about history yeah. because, um, you know, for, well, for me, you know, like the architecture is always sort of a representation of the time and the culture. Life as it was Yes, at the time. right. And yeah. there's reasons for things being designed a certain way. Yeah. So in order for you to understand that, you have to understand a little bit about that, what was going on at the time. It must be hard in Hawaii because Hawaii has no sense of architecture. Uh, eclectic would be too fine a word. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, junk architecture is, is everywhere, isn't it? Uh, well, I would say you have to take a closer look at it. It's not okay. always junk. It's just like you have to take a closer look at it. And I think our tour days, if you come to the Dokomomo tour days, you'll see like some some things are, I think at first glance, people don't appreciate. But if you look closely at it, there's so many things in it that were built and you have to go back and to think of why they were built a certain way. And then you sort of understand things and then appreciate it more. I think that's the whole thing. So you're looking, it's like it's Proust. You're looking through the keyhole into your past, and, and the, the building is the keyhole. The building shows you the past, so right. you have to interpret the past by looking at the building, that's, whatever building. That's a very good way of putting it, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, and so the building represents this past history, and um, without the building there, that part of history Lost. kind of goes right. Oh, that's kind of sad, actually. Yeah, that is kind so of sad. So you're kind of an historian. So um, 
you know, let's uh, now the the Kapiolani Boulevard project. That's a Docomomo project. Is that what it is? Well, in 2013, Docomomo did a tour along yeah. Kapiolani Boulevard, yeah. and um, a tour and, meaning I could come with you and you show me the buildings. Right, explain. right, the right. The same way right. you explained to me on the AIA tour a couple of years ago. Yes, yeah. right. Okay. And then so we actually had like a tour day brochure, and yeah. people yeah. we had those just like the AIA tours. We had docents stop along the way and talk about all the different. Um, buildings there, and because the um, it's called the Miracle Mile, it was kind of dubbed that in the late '40s because at that time they had, and I know, I know we can't unfortunately show all this, but they had all these, you know, well, star. We can, we can show them and see if see if our staff can can do a, like a, a really great. Can you? I don't yeah, know if you can. There it is. So yeah. we, they had all these. Um, Buildings done by star architects, all the Osipoffs and the Alfred Prices. Really? Well, this is uh, copy learning from where to where? From Sheridan to Kalakawa, sort of, you know, that, that end. Okay, and oh, ended to Atkinson. At Atkinson actually ended at Atkinson. To Atkinson, yeah. sort of central. Yeah. Right, right. I mean, it goes on long further, and um, I, I was just, you know, kind of like sprucing up my uh, history on it before coming, and it was interesting because. I think in 1924, there were articles saying, we need to have this boulevard to relieve the traffic in Waikiki. So from 1924 all the way to 1947, I think it took that long to build it. And, you know, that's kind of typical uh, <laughs> so project. What, what's when you look through the keyhole on mm -hmm. Kapiloni, in that period, in that, in that area, Atkinson to what would you say Sheridan? Is that? Yes, yes. Um, what, what were the forces at play? Was it was it commercial? Was it residential? The retail? What? Yeah, it was actually re well. So that whole boulevard was um, developed for the cars, of course, right? And then all the shops along there had parking either under them or to the side or to the back. So that was the you know that was it. It was like okay. You know, here we are. We're going to build this great boulevard with that people can park and go look at the shop. So, <laughs> it, it, the, so they were all developed in that way. And what kind of shops? So they had they had some interesting. They had paint shops. They had flamingo. I don't know if you remember flamingo. What was it? Well, flamingos down the road, but they had Capulani Bakery, and then they had um, car dealerships. They had a bowling alley. They at one time they had the. Um, drive-in, and then it became the theater. It became there was Capilani Theater, and there was just oh, you know, wow. I, yeah, and you this could just. This all before my time. Yes. <laughs> when, I, when I came here, which was 1965. Okay. You had the, the television station was there. That yes, yeah. I don't think yeah. it's there anymore. No, um, uh, but that was there till kind of recently. Yeah, yeah. kind of recently. Yeah. And and the 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 spinning the spin revolving building the revolving over there, building 12, 12, 14, that was, um, was it, that's well it's called the Alamoana building the Alamoana it's building. kind of part of Alamoana shopping center built by the same yes, architect right, right. as Dillingham Alamoana and shopping and that, center yeah. Yeah. yeah so it was and that one there interesting was the first revolving building in the United States yeah. before the Seattle. Um, needle. Yeah, but it doesn't revolve anymore. It got it, stuck somewhere. It, they welded it shut. <laughs> oh, is that okay? <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> That's too bad. I know, but it's still there. I remember least. eating there, and it would go oh. in one hour's time, the yeah. complete revolution. That's was right. Pretty attractive. Slowly, so you don't get sick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. It's nice and slow. Yeah. Let's see yeah. what else was there. Oh, there was the Aloha Motors. Um, was there? Yeah, that was on the other end, right? Uh, and By Atkinson. The, yeah, on yeah. Atkinson, right? So I mean, maybe we can. Well, this what we have here is what's still um, in along the Capilani Boulevard. So mm -hmm. I don't know if we want, you want to go through some of yeah, these let's slides. Yeah, go through let's some of your pictures. Take a look at some. So this this is a little older, actually. This is 1938, and this is an Osipov. So it's you know it's I, I don't know if you've ever been there. The but animal hospital? Yeah. Is it still there? It's it? still there. And, yeah. you know, I haven't heard of it being threatened, but it may be because it's such a low development. But it's very, it's a very cool building. It's Osipov done in 38. 
kind of modern with the clean lines. And I don't know if you can see, but, you know, there's that tree, and by that tree, there's a blue area, and that's actually a trough for water for the pets to come and drink well, how from. Interesting, how yeah, thoughtful. I know it was yeah. such a little high-tech, cute little yeah. building, and. Thankfully, it's but still there and still a hospital. That looks like, may I invoke the name Frank Lloyd Wright for a minute? Sure, it's, can he? It's, it's that period, isn't it? I mean, it's, uh, and it's, it's modern looking, yeah. modern ahead of its time, yeah? Yeah, right, because, well, 1938, you had the modern, the streamlined modern, right, which is um, also that kind of ship looking yeah. type of building. So it's really this, a yeah. very sustainable design. It it's still, is. It's still relevant. And they're still design. using it, too. Yeah, Isn't yeah, that yeah, cool? Yeah. <laughs> and so the other buildings that we have, I think, online is, so this is the seaboard. And I think a lot of people will look at this and think nothing special about it. But it was, it was done in, let's see, 1956. And it was done by Merrill Sims and Rorig. I know you don't hear that name today because they're no longer in business. But anyway, it was, they local were the, they were firm. local architecture firm. They were the successors to Charles Dickey's firm. Cause oh, Mer Dickey. Yes, Dickey, which is a Very famous. Very important. You have studied yeah. many Dickey properties in Manoa, for example. <laughs> right, he, right. He was the king of Manoa. He was. 1910 or so. Yeah. Right. They even named the roof style after him with yeah. the double P. Yeah, so. Treasured now yeah. for oh, yes. historic homes. Yeah. yeah, so that was the, um, that was the, Successor to that firm. Yeah, so uh, where was the Seaboard building exactly? Seaboard building is kind of on your way up to Republic. The, the <laughs> okay. Oh, it's on Copyline. Yeah, everything on co we're everything talking we're about talking, is on right, Copyline. Right, right, right. So yeah, can I say that it's really not very appealing to me on an aesthetic basis? I think I think for a lot of people that is very true. But so that's why you have to take a closer look at it. And what was interesting about it, I'll just read some of the. Um, the newspaper article that was written because it was the it was called the modern Hawaiian style, and maybe can we go back to the the slide that shows that the seaboard, seaboard finance yeah. and yeah. then, and so and it has a new type of glare reducing glass, oh. which gives the effect of a person wearing dark glasses, oh. eliminating the need for blinds. So it's kind of like high tech of the era, and then I think the next slide shows the corner. A corner of it, which is, or just, you know, I mean, it is very clean lines, that horizontal feeling with the with little bit of use of Hawaii, um, local that's, fat That's material. 1347 Kapiolani. Is that the address? I'm the glad Seaboard you know building. address. Yes. That's, that's where I came here. I worked there. Oh, okay. In the United States Coast Guard occupied a good part of that building. Oh, really? Yeah. Now I remember it. And you probably hated the building. No. <laughs> well, I, that side that you showed, the side on Kapiolani that we're looking at right now, not it's, so bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. The parking yeah. lot side was pretty ugly. <laughs> but, you know, I suppose there was a, there was a technical feature there. Right. As, as maybe they treated it as high tech facing yes, the parking lot. It was, and it was air conditioned. Yes. And fluorescent lights. Yes. <laughs> so that was, that's like very I, high tech. The Rescue Coordination Center, you'll enjoy this. The re was, can we go back to the building where you saw the parking lot, the same seaboard building? Yeah. Um, see on the last floor, the top floor? Yes. That was the Rescue Coordination Center for the Coast Guard for a long time. And they could look out over Ala Moana. Ah. This faced Kona Street. This shot is taken from Kona Street. Um, and from it, on the side, yeah. And, the, the, and that top floor looked out over Ala Moana Center, and they could they do could rescues. They could see the ocean. They could see the ocean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was on the second floor. I guess they can't anymore, <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is funny. That is interesting. Yeah, what was the, what was the point of those... those uh, you those know, that's things? added on after. the yeah. um, Before, the original didn't have that. So I'm thinking it was added on. Probably they had shade at one time. Mm. But um, that's it, also it, gone. It shows you, guys, there's a point there, is you take a, a building that has... Show more slides that um, show that as well. Okay. <laughs> so um, you want to continue on to I think next maybe is another um, slide of a building that's 
along Kapilani. As, as I said, they're all along Kapilani. Oh, here, this is what we're talking about. This used to be called the Mid-Pacific. It was an insurance agency, and, and mm -hmm. again, sorry that this, the people yeah, can't see show it, that to the but camera. like maybe you can see it here. Maybe our staff can actually show that to the camera. I don't know which way. Is it? Okay, so you can see that this is what it was like before. Okay. <laughs> So it was pretty clear on the bottom. It was yeah. a, it was a very modernist um, building with a clear bottom, kind of a floating top. And then you can go back to the slide we were showing, and this is what happened when someone did an extension in the front of it. So actually, you don't really even see this until you go to the side. But that's interesting. No windows. Right, and it had was clear windows on the bottom. It was looked like a floating box, and when it was originally you built. The funny thing is that at some point, I'm not sure when this appeared, but there was architecture in Hawaii that was open. Yes. Walk in, the lobby, all open. A lot of lava rock around, a lot of openness. You see through the building on the ground yeah. floor anyway. Yeah. These buildings are not open. Some of them used to be. Yeah. A lot of them used to be. But, yeah. yeah. Not it's, it's anymore. <laughs> yeah. somebody, somebody decided that they needed to close them up. Right. Air conditioning. I mean, air conditioning is a plus and a minus, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, um, yeah. It makes it comfortable and makes your computer work better, but uh, no longer are you aware of the temperature outside. No longer do people have to design for it like they used to have to design yeah. for it, but now it's... So what, what do these buildings tell us about the times in which they were built, the ones we've looked at? So far, well, all of these, but actually a lot of the buildings, you know, they do have things that are... Um, of the time, like the, the fins in the earlier building to control like the, cars. The, the sun. Like yeah. the and the car, well, and then the, yes, it was, it was like cars are really big, right? They were going to rule, they kind of ended up ruling the architecture. So it was very much built for cars. And it's so, as you saw from the Pacific sign, so they were very simple buildings because if you're traveling down the road at 30 miles per hour, you don't need to see the fine details, right? But you do need to see the big sign that says Mid Pacific or whatever it is. So, so it was very simple with a huge, with a big sign, neon lights often, or a big fin that goes up so that people will see it and and know when to stop. So, it it uh, it had a lot of um, design implications. Yeah, I want to add by the way that <clears throat> I remember the amount of traffic that existed on Kapiolani in those days, not much, <laughs> not much. I, I used to ride my bike to work. There was nobody there, oh, <laughs> no problem in at all. In the 60s, yeah. I think um, the 60s and 70s saw kind of a decline of Kapiolani as no longer the Miracle Mile. Well, 60s and 70s, I think it continued to be developed, but more like there was some banking institutions of course, Alamo and a shopping center. I think people discovered that people don't want to go from shop to shop in their cars, but Ala Moana was super convenient. They, there was lots of parking. You park your car once, and then yeah. you can walk to the all the yeah, shops. So the original idea about retail and yeah. stopping in the, going to the parking lot, going to the next one, and so forth, yeah. that, that, that got that outmoded. That kind of yeah. got outmoded, yeah. A Ala Moana, uh, catapulted over that. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. So Ala Moana is the most successful <laughs> of all what was there, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. And um, so, yeah, so the 60s, 70s, kind of a decline. And then, you know, a lot of these beautiful buildings, they've become kind of like, um, some of them are more like ta tattoo parlors, porno shops, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. bars and stuff. Yeah, well, uh, all of uh, Kamoku <laughs> Street was turning into that kind of yeah, thing. A lot of bars right. and Right. And uh, hostess park. Huh? And, um, uh, you know, there were in that neighborhood, there were also there were also factories. There were factories yes. that were doing moo-moos. The garment yeah. sector existed right there Industrial, at Kamoku yeah. and uh, Kapiolani. Right. And some of the buildings still look like factories, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, you yeah. talk about the decline. What, what exactly is a decline? You have a certain quality of architecture, a certain, you know, sort of neighborhood feeling. And then it declined. What does decline mean? Well, and then I guess that people weren't so people weren't using the shops, right? So people were going to Almoana most likely, or even downtown, right? Even downtown in the eighties and nineties, they decided to make Fort Street into a mall because people weren't just 
using the street anymore as yeah, their yeah, mall. Yeah. Um, they liked Ala Moana, I guess. So then the shop started shutting down. And then what, what could be on there? So it's financial institutions. So for a while, there were some, and there is still some really nice banks. And there were things like um, Pan Am Building, right, comes up in the late 60s. You know, because they tear down what's the, the small little building there, tear it down, build some shops on the bottom, and build a high rise. So there's like a couple, there's that Chateau Bleu, and they're still relatively old. I mean, yeah, they're, in their, they're built in the 60s and 70s, but it was kind of when the shops were not being. So this, this was the, the, the stage after the original stage yes, of shops. Right, right. So, uh, and then now they're going too. <laughs> yeah, they are. Uh, gee. Yeah. Um, uh, um, the, the, you know that uh, the, sh the blue Chateau Blue. What was it? Yes. Like? Yeah. That that condo. That was a condo. It was yes. one of the early condos right. in the '60s, right. I think. Yes, it was. Yeah. Um, yeah. By Ed Bauer. I don't know if you um, Bauer. I think um, Martin did a whole episode on Bauer at one time. So yeah. Um, and then, well, I think the through later slides I have show like some of the buildings that are threatened quite immediately. Um, the Kenrock Building and the Boys in Paint Building, which are really, I mean, I think even non-modernists <laughs> would appreciate the architecture of those buildings. So maybe we can see some of those slides yeah, let's too. Yeah, see some of those. Now that's a pretty See, that's, block, don't you think? Right, I, that's, I, I enjoy that block. Is that that's gone? That's going to be gone. Going to be gone. Yeah, okay. they're going to be building condos there. I, that's the plan. So this building was done by Lemon Freeth and Haynes, which is the um, precursor to Architects Hawaii. And um, so Lemon was the main designer, and he loved that sandstone. So he did that one and Boys in Paint across the street. But, you know, so they did it, interestingly, you know, it's kind of like um, perpendicular to the street instead of just one big street frontage. And part of that was to show that you, you could see the parking so that people knew that there sure. was parking. Sure, look right through. Yeah, yeah. and right, yet yeah, it's right on the street. Yeah. So Architects Hawaii um, used to have their offices there, and they said that you know, the Hawaii State Capitol was designed there. So it's that's going to be a, a really sad one to see because... This is, I mean, I think everybody appreciates well, this, this is kind very of market. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very beautiful. And I think there's, um, is the, I'm not sure what's next, but let's look at what other, what other pictures. Well, this one isn't threatened. This is the Ala Moana building. It's not threatened that we know of, except there is talk about that it turning into a condo, but I'm not sure. Oh, the Ala Moana? The Ala Moana oh, yeah. building, which is like currently. An office condo? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. So, I mean, these, I, don't, don't quote me on all that because I'm not sure uh, what happens. So, this is, okay. so I mean, th so this shows you, like, the little details that are in um, a modern building, which you don't see at first glance. Like, look at the breeze blocks on the top. They're beautiful. And the use of, like, marble for a detail yeah. and, con and, you know, planters. It's, it's, it's the small little focused details, I think, about uh, modern architecture that make it harder to appreciate, harder yeah. to see, really, yeah. until you get up close, maybe. Yeah. So um, may, let's see what's next. What do I have next? I, so this building, and I, and I think this one here, even HMSA aesthetically. the HMSA building, the original HMSA building. Oh, uh, well, CS is, Wu is what it's called. Yeah. So, and then touch the next slide. I mean, this is another one you look at, hard to appreciate. But it was one of the early precast buildings. And if you look at the next slide, it shows you, um, you know, it's kind of neat. The yeah, it shows one. a detail on it. And if you look at that, it's kind of like, wow, that's pretty. It's very artistic. Yes, it, it is. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, that's the thing with modern. I think you have to really look at the small things. I don't know, what, what other buildings do I have in there? Well, this building was called the Miyamoto building, and it's actually gone already. And the condo is pretty much built now. This, but was, this is on Kapiolani? This, is, this was on Kapiolani. Mm -hmm. And this was part of our 2013 tour. Mm -hmm. And since then, it's disappeared. But it's, you know, it's, again, I guess at first glance, it's just like a box. But then if you look at it, then maybe the next slide shows a little bit more. You know, it has like a, a, a um, stairway that's not just 
a stairway and it's got these little, you know, canted kind of um, columns and... Yeah, uh, I would call it part of the Kapakahi school. <laughs> <laughs> Everything going in different directions. The windows are all size. Yeah. <laughs> Not easy to look at. Sorry. <laughs> Just my view, that's all. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Everybody has their view. But let the, what, what other... Pick, what other... Um, I can't, what other bit? And so now this building is used to be the Boys and Paint building. Yeah. Do yeah. you remember? Was it was it there when you were when you were working on I Kapilani? don't remember actually, Tonya. Okay, but you know what? This, it's, it's it's it's. I like that central piece there. Yes, the and because it, it used to have the Boys and Paint sign on it. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So that as you were driving by, you'd know that was the Boys and Paint building. Imagine and, a paint store, a hardware store. I know, That's right? Ridiculous. Expensive. What expensive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would be. But you know, it was really cool, and uh, unfortunately, I wish I would have a color photo. I don't even really know when it changed, but it used to have um, this light fixture that was on the ceiling that was shaped like a painter's palette, <laughs> and each light was a different color. So, I mean, that's really cool. And then it became I, uh, like, a, I think, a porno shop, or <laughs> <laughs> I think that's kind of what it is. I don't well, know if it still is. To Atkinson, yeah. on the Mackay side of Kapiolani, yeah. that whole, talk about decline. Yeah. That declined something awful. Yeah, they, they uh, turned Every time it. you looked, it was a lower use. You know? Yeah, and now when you pass by, it's, it's a little scary <laughs> to yeah, pass yeah. by a lot yeah, of times. Yeah, it's a scary. Yeah. But you know, the funny thing is, uh, you, you talked about how Ala Moana kind of defined the neighborhood or defined retail in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Ala Moana defined commerce in the neighborhood between the Ala Moana Tower with the offices there mm -hmm. um, and Ala Moana Shopping Center with everything that was coming up. I mean, it's worth billions now, billions mm -hmm. and billions. Mm -hmm. It's one of the biggest, most complex shopping centers in the world. It I is, think. yeah. I think it's the largest outdoor shopping center in yeah. the world, yeah. So you, you as it grew, and uh -huh. it grew in these huge stages over time, um, and was sold and grew some more, and bigger anchors came in, and a, the little local companies, well, they went out. Yeah. Um, th they went to Ward went, Warehouse, which then got... Same thing. <laughs> yeah. Same thing. Yeah. 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 Local, local, local mom and pops just don't have a place in this area anymore. Yeah. Um, so you would expect, though, Kapiolani to go up in value, in, in appraised value, mm -hmm. up in usage, uh, up in the you know, highest and best use being, as always, condominium, right? And this whole street now, instead of turning into Fifth Avenue, which I hoped that it would years ago, uh -huh. I expected it would, no, Fifth Avenue is inside Ala Moana, yes. not on Kapiolani. That's right, that is exactly it's right. Turn, it's, and it's not going to be car dealers. And no. it's not going to be retail or restaurant. It's going to be condos yes. up and down. Yes. Isn't that what's happening? That is what's happening. There's yeah. that the one that I showed you that's already torn down. That's a condo, and well, at the very end is going to be the Mandarin, which is going to be a condo tell. What those one of those guys, um, and then the one that is Ken Rock Building. I, pretty sure it's the two tower condo. I mean, I don't know if they've got their plan set or if there's any hope of saving any of it, but because um, I, I don't think they're super far along, but I think yeah. that's, the, that's the idea. Well, here's the big question, Toya, probably our closing question. Okay. <laughs> you know, so you have Ala Moana redefining. You have this whole bunch of really interesting buildings, some of them really nice, others not, but some of them really mm -hmm. nice. Right. Um, it was a, a place in which Hawaii grew. It was mm -hmm. a thermometer. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, to show you Hawaii's growth from mm -hmm. from Mubu factories, right. you know, to medical buildings, to gosh, all yeah. kinds of things. Yeah. Um, but now, highest and best use, and all the, you know, the high values in that area, all the condos, they they define their own neighborhood, and so there'll be more condos, regrettably, in my view. Mm -hmm. um, but can the condos? I mean, I'm with you on this. We need to preserve the history of Hawaii. We need to preserve it through preserving, you know, the quality architecture yeah, right. and seeing through the keyhole. Um, can it coexist with these brand new and sometimes really super ugly condos? Um, how do you make that happen? Uh, aside from taking a lot of pictures and putting them yeah, I know. In, your, in your book. Right, uh, right. How do you make that happen? Right. Oh, that's a 
It's a really hard question. <laughs> um, I think maybe through zoning somehow, you know, take take little bits of. I, I mean, you know, you can't save everything. I yeah, I understand that, um, but you know, like take the bits of what's the best parts, and then maybe just preserve that part, and then try and have like architecture that matches up to a, at least that quality. You know, it doesn't have to look exactly like it, but it should have that quality, right? Um, that would be that would be great. I mean, and there are things, like you said, along Kapiolani Boulevard that are but ugly, <laughs> you know, or have been like <laughs> mutilated beyond belief. So, I mean, those is like, can you pick those and make a condo on them? <laughs> and not the, you know, not the boys in paint building, not the... <laughs> well, let's say we... Um... We, we decide, you and me, and, and maybe, you know, some of your We'll bring in Martin. <laughs> bring in Martin, right, and, and the Soto Brown. Yeah. And, um, we, and we, just, we say that that building that Architects Hawaii did, you showed me whether you could see through into the parking lot with the shrubbery in the front, the square buildings. Oh, the ones that... What, um, what, what's the name the of that? The Ken Rock building. Ken Rock building, yeah. yeah. Let's say that we decide this is really an architectural treasure, mm -hmm. and there's really something special that happened, and through it we can understand, you know, the way Honolulu developed. We can understand the nature of mm -hmm. the essence of Kapilani mm -hmm. Boulevard then yeah. and arguably now. Right. Um, so we say we're going to try to preserve the Ken Rock Building. How do we do that? <sighs> Um, a parade, the, yeah. uh, a, a protest. I, uh, <laughs> well, no, even that probably wouldn't. Uh, you, I think the owners have to be um, have to appreciate it. It's hard because I, they probably wouldn't make any money by preserving it. Definitely not. You know, um, there are. You could sell the rights over it to build denser next door or the one after that. I believe the owners know that already. Um, I, so I don't know, maybe they're gonna change. Maybe we can convince them, maybe this is good. <laughs> maybe we can convince them that they could sell the rights over that building and build someplace else denser. That would be really good. Let's save the Ken Rock building, okay? <laughs> that's what we got out of the show. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, well, Bobby. if we did, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> so nice to have you on the show. Thank I you. I hope I did something reasonable in, in light of the way uh, Martin Despang usually runs this. Yeah. But I certainly appreciated your, your input and conversation and your knowledge about historic properties. And thank you for keeping me company here. <laughs> Aloha. Aloha. Omerito. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, Xi, uh, I want to say Xi Jinping. No, uh, uh, Happy New Year uh, in, in Chinese as well. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Xin, xin yin kuai le. Okay. <laughs>